Skip. Getting everything all started here. Apologize for the delay. Uh, I haven't streamed to YouTube ever, so don't know how that goes. Ah, okay, so it's there. And then, let's see. Ho ho, all right. So we have both at the same time. Sweet. Oh, hey, Eric. How's it going? Dude, I I gotta say, I am so sad about the news. I'm so happy for you, by the way. But I gotta say, I'm, I'm very sad. Just, just, I just love you so much. Let's see. But yeah. How you doing? So... So I've been uh, basically kind of finishing up the swords here. So this one is the Zenitsu blade that I ended up finishing like during the pandemic. So that's been already done. However, though, what I need to do is. Oh yeah, no problem. I'm glad that you were able to use it. But uh, but yeah, so we're uh, we're in the process of finishing this up right now, but. I do need to build a um, a sheet though, so my plan is is that I'm just gonna live stream this, uh, and maybe it will be, you know, hopefully it it'll be good. So um, I haven't made a sheath for uh, for this or at least a blade yet, so we're gonna give that a, a go. And I thought might as well, while I'm live streaming it, might as well also uh, film at the same time. So yeah, we're gonna see how this goes. I am streaming to both YouTube and Twitch right now, so I'm hoping this will be good. Oh, no card and camera. Shoot. <laughs> uh, I don't have my card. Um, It's inside of the house. I gotta go get that. It's on the counter. So much. I'm gonna go get that. Yeah, so if you do have any... um. If you do have any, if you do have any questions, by the way, while you're in the middle of building and you're kind of stuck, just let me know. I'm here. Oh no, wait! I found it. It's right here. We're good. Oh yeah, please. Oh, by the way, Eric, um, are you actually going to be going to uh, Anime Expo this year? I've been uh, trying to see if there's a like a lot of people going and if there, and if I do end up finding people who are going I want to see if there's anybody who's available to do uh, like a carpool situation but of course it depends on if you're going let's see we will get that there I guess the only I'm gonna have to do here is okay. I may need to turn this on as well because that's not enough light for me personally. Let's see how this goes. Uh. Oh, you're not okay. That's all right. Mainly just doing this right now, taking this down so I can get more more light from here got a brand new light but the camera can't really pick up that what's going on here so i want i want that to be as close to that as possible if i can and i can never have too many too much or too little of lights around here I also don't want to get this in the way. Okay. 
see how this goes. Hopefully this doesn't really like mess up with the uh, with the picture quality or anything like that. You can still see me, right? Okay. Should be fine. And that actually looks okay. All right. Let us begin. So in my video that I hopefully going to be editing soon and then getting that out shortly, hopefully you guys will be able to see it. Um, what we're dealing with right now is having to edit all that down, but I have, I have this that I need to get done. So we're just going to edit all that down, but I have this for a brief moment. When I do the filming, I had to do it like small snippets at a time. So let's see. I went ahead and so I so before piecing it all together, I ended up uh, getting the measurements of my own uh, blade here because I know that when it comes to uh, foam, I know that everybody's blade is going to be slightly different. So I went ahead and traced uh, traced around that so what i'm gonna do is i just wish it didn't do that <laughs> um i'm gonna try and see if if heat will actually help me flatten this thing out a little bit i don't know i've never i never had to heat paper before so i don't know if this is gonna work or not but we'll see if not i'll just burn down my shop <clears throat> okay i know with foam it kind of like makes it easier to unravel, but eh, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Eek. Drat. Um. Let's see. Let's see. What can I do? I will just have to probably pin this down to the foam in order for me to to get it to stick. So that's great. Um, uh, oh, here it is. So for the this foam, we are going to be using the calipers and seeing what size we got here. I am using eight, eight millimeter. Cool. And that's too long. do I gotta remember I gotta keep recording this thing let's see if we have where did my blade go there it is a few pieces here my idea is I'll be using this, this right here or at least one, uh, like maybe two of the pieces I think that that could work um and then let's see or just one. That was not enough. Anyway. 
yeah, I'll probably just have to use the rest of this sheet of foam in order to do that. So we will just take one piece at a time. All right. So I'll put that away for right now because that's just cumbersome and in the way. We have this piece right here. Ah. Right on my face. All right. Oh, it's gonna burn it. Oh, okay. Before this room gets too hot, what I think I may have to do is turn on the AC. Hopefully that doesn't uh, completely just drown out my uh, my voice, but we'll see. I'm just hoping that the spiders don't get me. Oh my god. Let me know if uh, if that's still okay. Because I don't know if the... Uh... Spiders don't get me. Oh my god. Let me know if, uh, if that's still okay. Because I don't know if the... Uh... That way. Should be okay. There we go. Cool. Don't move. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so we have this. We want to at least try and see if we can make two pieces. So what I'm thinking is I could probably have this be right here. What else? I know, right? Time to shut the studio down. Rest in peace. Uh, my shop. Let's see. Like, time to burn it all down after it took me, like, a year to build. Oh, dang it. Mm. Like time to burn it all down I need to get this webcam a longer cable, because that is really bad. Okay. So, we... Go ahead and... Yes, it's not... It's not ideal, but... It's what I'm going to have to work with. Um, I normally don't like putting pins in my templates and into the foam just because it leaves it leaves a um a ow it leaves a hole in the foam and when i go to heat seal one more time it will uh it'll open up and you'll really see it it's the only downside but you know hey it's kind of like a small price to pay really so, and hopefully it won't be. Oh shoot! Kind of like a small price to pay, really. So, keep forgetting I gotta film at the same time. Oh my gosh, it's like multitasking, but I've never been too good at that. Okay. Multitasking, but never been too good at this place. Got to, like, film it in different areas. Because I figured it might be easiest if I just stream and also...
So I know you're in the process of uh, doing the build right now. Um, any? Did you run into any complications? Hopefully not. Shoot. I gotta switch over to more. Thinking about maybe doing the switch over to uh, HD foam because that way I can use pens instead of markers that dry out super quickly. Go, go. Two. All right. So that's one down. Gotta take this out. Yeah, gluing the uh, gluing the fingers together not not quite fun, right? Or not not fun. Um, did you did you run out of contact cement? Did you end up getting more? Put this somewhere. Okay. okay luckily this thing is on a full battery right now so we might actually have a good amount of time to to get all this done i just have to remember to frame it and then um and then start cutting Cutting on the outside of the marker line. That way I can go ahead and shape it down and it's also a good way uh, to make sure that I kind of like make it at least a, a little bit bigger than what it is so then that way it has enough space to move around and get in there. So, let's see, let's see. so, okay. 
By the way, when you super glue your fingers together with super glue, it's uh, not only is it hard to get off, but it's also uh, kind of painful at times. <laughs> depending on how quickly it settles. And what's even worse than that, actually, is uh, is you'll actually have like this glossy residue on your fingers that don't go away for like a bit of time. So that's more like, meh. It's like, well, this is it. This is with me for the rest of my life. You have to explain it to your grandkids. Why do you have that glossy thing on your finger? And then you're like... Shut up, Darla. Have your apple juice. We will, so we got that, here, stop recording, Turn that off, put those pieces there, okay, so we got those two pieces, what we need to do, The bluish is kind of tricky. Yeah. Yeah, because I know that with mine, I ended up having to do the... Um, uh, if you have anything like a gloss black and you want something metallic, the and you don't have an airbrush, I would probably recommend, uh, you know, like most likely at the at the hardware store, you can buy a, like a $2, at least over at my Home Depot, there's a $2 bottle or can of... Um, of gloss black and if you do a gloss black on the on the sword if you know or in the section that you want to have like metallic -y, uh it'll have a gloss black finish and then if you get some like silver spray paint from like a very far away distance you can spray it and when it like lands on the gloss black it'll have this like silver metallic look to it um I mean, you could always just grab the metallic paint it and just spray it on fully, but because um, uh, yeah, because basically that's what I ended up doing with this. I mean, in a sense, it's almost the same thing where this is all just the gloss black on here, uh, but here what I ended up. But then what I ended up doing was uh, I painted or I taped off this silver line right here and then i just lightly sprayed it with the airbrush so you can kind of get the similar effect uh with the uh with spray cans just yeah that's what i did for a bit before i got my airbrush I'm actually thinking, you know what, Just now that I kind of know where that's at, I can at least cut out a piece here.
That way it's more isolated. Might be a little easier. Isolated. Go. We need to have like I think this is probably better that we have a thicker foam to deal with. Oh, that was not even recording. Great. All right. <laughs> Multitasking, man. All right. So we have that. Then we're going to flip the pattern because we need to make two sides. So if you don't mind me asking, uh, what what con are you uh, going to again? That will be that the, that you're making the blade for. Really gonna have to sharpen that blade. My goodness.
Okay. I will put away the pins now before this little container falls and then uh, just ruin everywhere. Like, rest in peace, my feet. Skin. Jenna, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome to the chat. How is everybody doing? Let's see. We're going to try and see if we can get this done by today. If so, that'd be great. Cutting along the outside of the marker line just so we can have some extra room to sand down. Okay. And we have that. Okay. Next, we will go ahead and line this up on the Piece right here, and we're just gonna cut straight down. There we go. Heating up the foam here, we'll go ahead and shrink all the pores, and then it will actually even allow us to shape the foam a little bit further because i'm still debating whether or not if i want to just kind of like make a square out of this and then just kind of shape it down but i think with this though i think we're, what we're going to be doing is we're going to pre-fold this so we're going to get this nice and hot Once it is to the point where it's pretty hot, we're going to go ahead and take the underside and roll it in like this, just so that it's rounded out a bit more. Because last I checked, these are kind of circular, so this way we can get a little bit more of like an oval shape to it. Near the midnight there. Wow. My goodness. <laughs> well, thanks for staying up. Really appreciate it. Um, are you are you also a cosplayer? Do you like working on things too? Or just kind of browsing around? So yeah, that's just a rounded out just a little bit here. Then we're gonna do the other side. Yay. 
Okay. Just gotta make sure that I do like a, a bit of filming here and there, so I gotta check the camera out. So Jenna, do you do any um, any cosplay as well, or do you make? Don't know if my if, I, if what I said made it through the chat. Okay. At the top and bottom here, we are. Yes. So, I apologize, and hey, I mean, that's okay, because anybody can cosplay, does not matter what skill level you are at. Um, I am thinking, I think I'm going to go ahead and glue these two pieces together. So, I'm going to need my barge cement. Dangerous, but, you know... Kind of like the best stuff to use. Um, I also apologize if you can't hear me. Because I will have this mask on here. So, if you need me to say something again, please be sure to let me know. Just would rather be safe when it comes to the barge. So, Jenna, have you had any... Um, what like what have you cosplayed so far or do you have a plan to do uh, a specific cosplay like what character this come on focus come on camera Oh yeah, that's always the uh, the hardest part because there's so many good characters in Demon Slayer that you just don't know which one to really kind of start out with if you are gonna cosplay. Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! Nobody cared and no one cared who I was until I put on the mask. Nobody cared. Let's see. No one cared who I yeah, I think I gotta do the top part here. Yeah. Plan. Okay, still gonna work. Focusing. Focus, there you go. That's the problem with like autofocus sometimes, is like it autofocus focuses perfectly, but then there's always that one weird time where it doesn't. 
and it doesn't want to like focus on the thing that you want and then you have your hands full and then yeah so you're like great all right Okay. Load up the brush a little bit more because this area already dried up. I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to come over to the other side. When I'm normally working with barred cement, I end up doing two layers on both sides because I've noticed that I've done one layer before in the past and it uh, it didn't necessarily come apart, but I have noticed that it just doesn't as have as strong as a, uh, of a bond. Like I've noticed that the, the foam tends to suck up a lot of the first layer and then, uh, but the second one ends up like really kind of like keeping it all in place. So, love that. I love that for you. Yay. All right. Huh, Airwick, does, uh, since you brought it up, did you end up seeing the new Batman movie? We'll keep the we'll keep the chat on that spoiler free for anybody who hasn't seen it yet. Um, but uh, yeah, just wanted to know if you've seen it. Wait a minute. I don't think that's going to work out if I do that. Eh? Maybe? I don't know. Hmm. No, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make these again. That's already got the barge on it, so that's okay. Um, yeah, I gotta do that. Because the issue that I have is that I did not cut these out. To be big enough they were actually they're actually the same exact size that it needs to be for that and the problem is, is that it'll be just like too tight and the worry that i have is that you know drawing the the sword in and out will you know kind of chip off the paint over time and that's what i don't want so yeah We will put these aside for right now. And... Okay, so we're going to try this again.
All right. that off for right now and then should be good and then we'll try again Didn't watch it yet, but oh, I see, I see. Um, well, my favorite anime is—I don't know—I kind of go back and forth uh, because I feel like that definitely within the past couple years, I would definitely say uh, Demon Slayer would be one of them. Um, but, uh, since I'm, you know, making a sword out of it, um, but the other thing, too, is I also really enjoy, um, Mob Psycho. Mob Psycho 100 has been one of my absolute favorites since it came out. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, love Mob Psycho. Um, but then also like, Psycho Pass Two has also been really, really good. Um, One Piece, I'm still in the process of like trying to get through right now. So that's been, that's been one journey for sure. A long process for that anime. Mm hmm. Uh, but what about you? What's your favorite anime?
¿Eh? Uh -huh. I'm just adding on like the smallest amount, enough that I would know that it would be the very edge of the, of the, uh, of the foam. We'll add like a cap at the very end as well, so that way we can shave it all down. Crazy how much the uh, the barge dries. Well, actually, I shouldn't be surprised that the barge dries really fast because it is like toxic stuff. So the toxic stuff te tends to dry very quickly, but it's also eh, toxic. Pretty sure the camera has filmed a good amount of that gluing, so continue going here. Okay. It's definitely been drying a whole lot faster, but then again, though, I think it's also because it's kind of a warm day today, so the shop is a little bit warm in here. Hmm. Warm barge. So the shop is a little bit warm in here. Mm. Warm barge. Honestly, I wish that there, there is a version of, of barge that is non-toxic, but I've heard from a lot of people that it's just not that great. <laughs> So I'm like, oh, yeah, of course. Oh, okay. There we go. So I'm going to give that like two more minutes to dry and then I think we'll go ahead and piece these these two uh, pieces together. See how that goes. So, yeah. Still plugged in. Sweet. 
Alright. Definitely on the list of favorites. Hunter Hunter, yeah. I know everybody's been telling me that I need to get into Hunter Hunter. That's been one that I have been wanting to watch, but I never sat down and watched it. Death Note's great. Death Note is phenomenal. Um, Avatar, I, you know what, I say that it is good enough to, you know, call it anime at that point, because I know that it was heavily inspired by anime, so, and they also did it right, like, w literally one of the best series of all time, so I really do think that, uh, in that situation, I would consider it as anime. <laughs> I mean, I mean, anime, uh, I mean, there are probably some purists out there that say that um, anime specifically has to come from Japan. But, I mean, it's when it's like heavily inspired by, uh, by anime and, you know, when they do it right, I mean, I don't see why not. There, I, I probably wouldn't even say a huge discussion. It's more of like, it's more of like a fight or a, or like a bickering kind of thing. And it's like, uh, the mo it, as long as if it's still good and it it gives people like enjoyment, I don't know. Maybe the categor uh the categorizing of it may not ne actually be necessary in that situation. Yeah, you know what? I think I probably have to. Yeah, because I I don't want to have to like wait for everything to dry. So we'll we will just immediately do all the going at once. Yay, more mass time. But, you know, hey, wearing a $50 respirator versus a $50,000 lung transplant would be better. Oh no, oh no. Oh, Leron, thank you so much for that. Really appreciate it. How are you doing? Yeah, we're trying to... Oof. Well, that's drying. I think it's safe to, safe to say I can do this. So, um... We're in the process of building uh, Tanjiro's Blade from uh, Demon Slayer. So I've already built the entire uh, blade itself and uh, basically finishing up on the series that I have on YouTube. But um, I decided to also make a sheath out of it as well. So, funny enough is that I actually really like Zenitsu's blade, but you barely actually see it. Um, oh, don't ju don't judge my appearance. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, because because Zenitsu's blade. Um, since I kind of have had to like discover, or at least kind of like make my own, like 
way of um, of drawing it out because as far as I know, the anime doesn't actually show what the blade looks like, so I kind of have to make a bunch of guesses on that. Um, I don't know. I always love the idea that Tanjiro's blade is black because of not because of the look, but because of like the the significance and the meaning behind it. Alright. This is the scary part. Okay. So, the thing that's scary about uh, Bard Cement is that as soon as it touches, it's basically in place. And that is it. <laughs> so we are... I'm also like trying to film this at the same time too, so I want to make sure I at least get that. And then whatever side has more excess, I'll just cut that off. Try this out. Okay, doesn't look like much for right now, but it is there for the moment. So let's see. If we can do this, we have that side, and we have to glue this side. Because my idea is, is that if we at least like kind of build a box around it, we'll, uh, we'll be able to sand it down afterwards. Okay, cool. So I guess before we uh, basically kind of box this up, I guess I should check and see if it actually fits. <sighs> okay. Go.
Oh yeah, we do too. All right, we're good. Because I've, I've definitely made that mistake before where I don't double check and then I piece it all together and I just wasted like an hour of my life. Okay. All right, so, so we already have some glue on this side here. So now we gotta, Good night. Have a good night. Mm -hmm. Getting through it. Here we go. Okay. Okay. So we have the barge cement actually here. Uh, so that's drying. What we need to do next is now prep this piece here, because this will be the thing that will finish the box. So I'm going as light as I can. Hold up. There we are. Later on, if you're still there, um, do you cosplay as well? set this to manual focus for right now so then that way it just it gets only what I'm 
wanting to... It was focusing on my hand the entire time, so it was like blurry for half of it. I've got to do one more coat on this side here. Ah. Okay. Then just out. I'm just really excited to get this all done because I'm thinking my my next build or the thing that I really want to try out is going to be um, or the thing that I'm going to be making is going to be Milnir's hammer from Love and Thunder, the one where it's all uh, broken up and then all put back together and it's all glowy on the inside. I really want to make that. That's going to be my next build. But kind of just all depends on what I can get done between now and Anime Expo because I got some things that I got to do for my Goblin Slayer costume. Yeah, I got to I got to fix up a few things and also make some like pouch some pouches for uh for my character. Um and cuz I had made the pouches before in the past, but I kind of rushed it and I don't like the way they, it looks now. And I have some extra leather up there, so I'm hoping that I can actually get that done and have a better, more rustic-looking kind of um, kind of bag situation. Because I have, I when I made those bags, I made them like when I was still newer to uh, to leather crafting, and so now that I have a piece of oil tan uh, leather up there, I think that it's going to be a lot more. Uh, I don't know, I guess worn or realistic looking because it kind of looks a little like eh, eh, I'm just going to say it's much to be desired so that's good yeah so and uh, Jenna what is your favorite uh, what, which one was your favorite uh, katana thing that's nice is right now because we have like this is the first time I've actually done the whole streaming process so what I think is kind of nice is that I not only do I have the top-down view that I can potentially take late at a later time uh, for like an alternate uh, look I guess um, we'll also have the close-up shots here so that will be nice we're going to uh, glue those pieces together once this is completely dry. So I'll give that a couple more minutes. Should be good. Yeah. Uh, 
Let's see here. Woohoo! Yeah. Sweet. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two. We are doing that. Okay, cool. Try once to do Millionaire was a huge fail. Oh, because I rested and didn't inform myself how to use. Say I didn't. Try once to do Millionaire was a huge fail. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, like, like, did you end up using like PV, uh, PVC for the handle, or did you just use foam for it? Because my idea for for Milnir, at least for the Love and Thunder one, is I'm going to be making it out of plastizo, which is see-through foam. And so I'm going to make the basic box of it um, out of plastizo, which is the see-through or like semi-translucent foam. And I'm going to have a PVC pipe going all the way through the bottom then going into the top of the uh of Milnir. and then uh and then i'll kind of like glue foam pieces on top of it uh to like kind of like look at uh, or like kind of like piece them out a little bit so then that way it looks like it's the broken pieces of Milnir and then put back together uh, but inside of the head itself, I'm going to make it all hollow still. And then I'm going to put some lights in the around the PVC pipe battery at the very end of the handle. And then when I turn it on, it should illuminate from the middle going through the, the cracks of the plastizote area. Um, so that's the plan. I'm hoping that works out. We'll see. Okay. focus so here why are you you're just flopping around <sighs> camera always worries me that I that it's gonna like just up and fall off of this little little quick release thing I'm just gonna give this more There we go. Because I want to... Yeah. Should be good. There we go. Cool. Start recording. All right. Which side is the... Okay. Cool. So we're going to start off slow. We're going to do this side first. It's hard because I, I want to be able to really kind of piece this together properly, but uh, I just got to... Just gotta go with it. Mm. Oh, I know. Because the problem is that both sides of the um, of the barred cement is ready to go, and I don't want them to piece together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover this up with like just a rag. That way I can focus on one side and then we'll do the other side in a moment. Hello. Nope. Yeef. So my main focus right now is to just have the corners or the very edges of the foam touch each other because when I when I bring it around it'll flatten itself out but if I just do the very corners and edges 
it should work out. This is the part that's like so nerve wracking. Ha 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 ha. Hey, ha ha. Yeah. There we are. Cool. All right. So we have this side here. And then now we're going to, from the other side, do basically the exact same thing. We are. Alright, so it just looks like a giant box. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's a giant box. What do you What else am I gonna make it? You know? It's like it's like, oh you could make it out of wood. I'm like, I'm not a woodworker. What else am I gonna make it? Uh yeah. So cool. Uh let's see. What'd you say? Uh, I use those. Phone puzzle pieces on the floor. Oh, it didn't work out at all. Oh, okay. Top part was too heavy for the handles. It was crooked like banana. Oh, yeah. Well, hopefully, you know, uh, once I, you know, end up like actually committing to the, uh, to the to the build and i i build it hopefully try that out and see if it ends up working because i'm because the way i'm the way i see it is that the um is that the uh with the pvc pipe going all the way through to the very top of the of millionaire in that you know kind of like the in the box area that i'm going to keep hollow with the with the pvc pipe going all the way through the bottom part and then to the top I feel like that that should be enough stability for it to just stay there and not move around. On Zenitsu's, yeah, I think I think Zenitsu's is like really intriguing, um, just because it's also like we haven't even seen it. And and again, I'm I'm only watching the anime right now. I'm not actually reading the manga because I don't I kind of don't want the I want the anime to kind of reveal everything to me because I don't know just the way that they the one that uh the way that you um UFO table UFO, UFO table do, did their anime oh my god like so good like top-notch anime right there uh the um the the animation for for that series has been like just absolutely crazy and i 
uh, can't wait to see how they're how it's all gonna like end and come together. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I am kind of like cutting off the cutting off the edges right here, making a little bit more oval. And now that we have this, gonna kind of like trim this off just a little bit here, just so that it's all e even. Okay, I'm going to sand this all down anyway, so it's not going to be I'm gonna sand this that big of an issue. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we have a lot of meat on this, so my idea is we're going to be trimming down the very corners right here and kind of make this more rounded or oval. So, that's the plan. Uh, what I'm going to do first off to really kind of make this uh a lot more oval is we're gonna mm, no i should probably go slow on this one um i'm gonna i'm gonna take this to the sander here okay okay we're gonna take a few little field trip guys I don't know how this is going to work, but hopefully. All right. Pardon the, uh, the mess here, but I'm just going to move the light out of the way. We will. Okay. There we are. Lots of light for the camera. All right, so I have my belt sander here. And what I need to do is switch out the belt that's on there right now at, uh, at the moment that is a 1,000 grit belt. And I need to bring it down to about an 80 grit to really kind of sand this all down. So this is like... This is the thing that makes my life so much easier because of the, uh, yeah, the sanding process on this is it's gonna not take as long. Come on. Do you read the manga or do you watch the anime? Or do you do both? Oop. That was a close one. safety always read in the direction of where it's supposed to go all right pardon the mic this this might be a little loud
I apologize, this is gonna be, uh... It's gonna be a bit. I'm gonna be here for a while. Hey Kirby, how's it going? Welcome to the chat. How are you? Hey Kirby, how's it going? Welcome to the chat. How are Doing well, just uh, just shaping this down.
Why, yes I have. It is phenomenal, isn't it? It is so good. I don't know if you can hear me. It is so good. I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah, it's it, it is honestly like really top notch stuff. Like the animators um, should definitely huh, be paid with what they're worth on that one. All the climactic moments are so good. gotta move the camera here because I feel like this would be a better shot over on this side here but yeah like all of the all of the, all of the cinematic sequences in that show oh man I just oh, they just get me I love it so though like one of my all-time favorite episodes of anime was from season one and that was the uh well i think everybody basically knows it was basically episode 19 uh 18 or 19 yeah it was it was that one um and that one i i was just like oh it just gets me sometimes when i when i think about that scene because it is just so good. Record. There we are. Cool. Oh yeah, 
By the way, there might be a little bit of confusion. Um, I'm actually streaming to Twitch. I'm streaming to Twitch and uh, to YouTube at the same time, so some of the chat might not understand the other side. <laughs> so, yeah. Just so that there's a, uh, you know, gets the confusion out of the way there. Oh, yeah. Honestly, whenever time when ne Nezuko wakes up and, like, does anything, like, oh, I just absolutely love it. Oh, you heard an echo. Oh, that means that the, uh, that the chat on somewhere. Yep, there we are. Okay, went ahead and turned it off. Sorry. All right. Back to our normal programming of sanding. Off. Oh, sorry. Move the camera back here. Sorry, Chad, I'll be there in a second. Oh boy. Anime Cat Boy, hello. How's it going? Welcome. Uh, okay, sorry. Let's see here. Mind-blowing awesome, yep. Yeah. 
and Tanjiro usually gets me cheering. Oh yeah, for sure. What if I said I'm an anime character in real life and are broke? Ooh, no! So sorry to hear that happening. The I know the glasses is uh, definitely something you absolutely need. Sorry that happened for you to you. Hopefully, I mean, you can get another pair soon. Let's see. I'm gonna move this right on back here. Which way? Which way did I have it before? I had it like this. Sorry, now that we're moving back here. Oh. Okay, sounds good, Jenna. No problem. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. I'll see you uh, in the next stream, hopefully. Or, you know, whenever one of my videos goes live, if you happen to subscribe to me there, to my YouTube channel. But anyway, otherwise, I'll see you next time, alright? Have a great night. Alright, so... Let's see. Yeah, so... We have this right here. I am going to take a look at <laughs> Eric. Uh, it is not bad at all, and I appreciate you so much for being in both chats at the same time. All right, so. We are this. And let's see here. Yeah. So we have this. We have lots of. That was a lot of sanding. I apologize, but my goodness. Okay. So what we're going to do. See if we can heat this up a little bit and start bending it. Yeah, right? Just heating up, heating it up only just a little bit here. Because I need this to. I know it's weird. I have. I have to have it bend this way just a tad for the blade. Okay. All right. It's because the plan is, is this is his blade. Kirby, thanks for being in both chats. I appreciate you. Uh, this is, um, this is the, uh, the blade finally done. Uh, I have the video coming out soon for the painting on this one, but I needed to make also a uh, a sheath that goes on this. So uh, with this in place, I just need to verify that it actually fits. Oh, like a glove, like a sheath, actually. Yes, you've always been a moderator. Yay! It fits! I can't believe it worked! <laughs> I can't believe it. It's like... Because most of the time, whenever I have these situations happen, where I'm making something and kind of like just winging it, it normally doesn't go out the way I want, and then I just end up wasting like an hour and a half of my time. Yeah, thank you so much. I am very excited. So the only thing I wanted to do about the sheath here is basically uh, sand it down for a bit and uh, wait, got to film. Sand it down for a little bit and uh, with, like hand sanding it. Hello, what are you doing? Oh, it's upside down. Oh. Excuse 
are. Uh, no, I can't have lightning shoe out of it. That would technically be this blade here, if that was the case, because that's Zenitsu's. So, this one, this one is Tanjiro's. Did I say Zenitsu? Did I say Zenitsu earlier? No. Anyway. So, we are getting so close. <laughs> Alright, so, my idea is... Gotta do the whole. Okay. It's a like. A little bit of a rough, rough texture at the moment here. Um, I'm gonna try and see. Oh, oh, I haven't tried this yet. I don't know if this is gonna work. I hope it does, and I hope I don't ruin them. Oh, there we are. What pillow? You have a pillow? I hope the comfy... The pillow's comfy. Nobody likes a hard pillow. Alright. So, I don't know if this is going to work. But, I've never used this on foam before. We're going to find out right now how it, how it does. I hope to God that this does not ruin my peace. There's a part of me that's saying, Joey, I think you should. I think you should really try to. Uh, what am I saying? Um, do this on a test piece first before doing this. Ah, uh, yeah. A voice in my head. I, I I should I should trust you, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna do what I want. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Nope. That is too rough. I'm gonna go with a higher. one's a 600 grit. Ugh. Shop. I need to... I need to clean this shop at some point. Uh, let's see. R. Alright. Cool. So, let's try this out again. Is that working? I don't know if that's working. Continues. Oh, my God. 
Might be allowed. Although this is your uh, this is your one warning, though. If it is not what you uh, what it is that you're saying, you're immediately going to be banned. Just saying, because that is against rules. <laughs> Yeah, if it's on a link, how do we see them then? Okay, 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 okay. It works. <laughs> Seems to be working. I mean, yeah, yeah. Looks like it doesn't look like much at the moment, but it is. It sanded it all down. So, oh. all right. So, um, next step would be heat shaping this again because I ended up sanding it down. So now it ha has all the uh, all the fuzzies that EVA foam has. Boom. I keep forgetting. Um, pause. Turn that off for a moment. Um, I forgot. I gotta. I gotta sand it down even more than that. So. My ninja info cards? That'll like what?
Ah, uh, drat. Okay. Trying to think if I can use. No, I'd have to get a lot more. Coffin dance, but it's a dead mean. Oh, okay. Dang it. All right. Definitely got to fix this. Uh, this is not working out the way I want. So, what we're going to go ahead and do is put that right there. I have. I'm trying to put some. My thought is if I can get this to glue to the back of here, then it won't come off as easy. Anime Catboy, what, uh, what animes have you been watching? He's trying to get this all open. If. Okay, sounds good, Kirby. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate you. I'll see you around, okay? One Piece is great. I love One Piece. Oh, come on. Did 
this is the thing that's like the most annoying about uh about super glue rise up and then you just can't ever like get the cap off I don't really want to do it this method but I kind of have to Naruto, I, I ended up getting into uh, a little bit, but then I ended up stopping uh, before the Chunin exams. Yeah, so suffice to say, I did not get very far. But I enjoyed what I ended up watching. So we have that. Just gonna do this one more time. Okay. So no. Stop. Planning on just kind of keeping it on here for right now. Seeing how well this goes. Hopefully this will clamp and then it'll be fine. We'll see.
Yeah? How did you turn it into a cat? How did you do that? Tell me. Please, walk me through it. Ooh. Just thought of it? Oh, okay. Well, when you find out, let me know. I want to turn into a cat, too. I want to turn into a Neko. Neko! bend it a little bit. Smiley face. Oh, got it. Not that. Okay. There we are. All right. Time to do one more test fit. Ooh. Yeah. That works. All right, cool. Re Perfect. All right. All right, so um, I think that that's actually a good, good point to kind of pause at for the moment. Um, battery's also almost dead on my camera anyway. So um, yeah, sounds like a good time to at least pause for right now. And uh, we might be streaming a little bit later tonight, just to kind of depends. Depends on, uh, you know, if like you might stream later. Um, but yeah, so uh, I think that's just going to be it for right now for the stream. Um, I thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys. And I will see you guys in the next stream, all right? Have a great day. Bye-bye. How do I end the stream? I end stream like this? Okay. I end stream.